Bless Unleashed, a free-to-play. This is Bless Unleashed on Xbox One X. This is the open beta. So, as far as I'm aware, they've been testing this out a bit, but now it's just freely available to check out. It is a MMORPG experience from uh, Bandai Namco. Uh, this is a multiplayer title, obviously, with a co-op focus group of up to five players. It's got to push towards a 4K resolution with HDR support. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of your typical sort of MMORPG. This is the starting out sort of area. You get a sort of tutorial that's got um, basically narrative driven cinematics and then you do like a big fight thing so that you learn the combat and the fact that you have to basically create combinations and fight with combinations during combat so like RT, RT, RT and then B and that's kind of a combo and that kind of gives you a little bit of the gist of that element of play. So this is a fairly large scale world. Um, there's a map here. And this is just the beginning area, so if you're not familiar with how I tackle these betas and stuff, I kind of like to show off the, the heavy focused areas, you know, where everybody's going to be at the start, and then just show off the start of the game, because I don't like investing too much time into these. But just give you an idea of how it's running, how it's looking, and what the general gameplay is. So, uh, performance is kind of alright. I've seen worse <laughs> for these types of games. But, uh, yeah, there definitely are some drops and uh, some real load-in issues. I don't know if you were already seeing that, kind of, with, like, the trees in the background. But for the most part, uh, in the close distance, it actually renders quite well. Some slight hiccups along the way. But, yeah, the performance is, is kind of stable. It could be a little bit better. But also, it's not too bad. Uh, the combat's interesting, has some dynamics to it in regards to what you're doing. We're not going to really see a lot of good combos going on with these like weaker wolf type characters. You're just not going to see that because they die so fast. Uh, as you can see in the bottom left we've got a, a, a neat sort of like quick option in regards to gaining access to like using your potions or your abilities so that's kind of neat quick toggles on the right hand side we get a, a sort of map there and as you could see before we can blow that up and then we got our quests and then the bottom right is sort of our like blessed kind of ability things that use our, our power as you can see that there uh, and then from here you can see while we went over the world map you can create waypoints everything like that then there's matchmaking for dungeons and battlefields, so that's like kind of the competitive elements and the PvE elements, which is like cooperative play, and then there's friends, you can have a guild, obviously, very standard MMORPGs uh, party system, so you can see the five player captor that I mentioned earlier, and there's an estate system too, so you use that for obtaining equipment and everything like that, and then there's like a confirmation area. Great. So we also want to show off kind of the, the start settings here, so the bless pass you get an idea of what the, the pass is like for doing certain things and you know hitting certain marks it's, it's kind of common and there's mastery and reputation for forging and all that and we got our quest log and you can see our quests are handled fairly streamlined I think in this one uh, bag and then you can expand your bag you get consumables, different armor types, customize your character which we'll show right now so you get lots of different customization options you can tweak the hair, the look, the clothing, the body type uh, lots of little things. Well, clothing you tweak with the new stuff that you collect, obviously, armor-wise. But as you can see, you can change like all kinds of elements of it. There's lots of different character classes, different tweaks that can be made as well in order to adjust the characters further. And generally, it's a fairly in-depth system just in regards to making the characters sort of look how you want. It's not bad. Easy scalers, easy uh, color customizers, everything like that. So, yeah, neat selection of class types. Uh, male, female, even race types too. It can be weird things. And yeah. So back here we got our, our skills, we got wardrobe, trials and titles, you know, all the basic stuff. And then you can go to options, which kind of gives you your further settings, and you can see gameplay here. I know when I was doing Black Desert that this was something people like to see when they're getting an idea of what the game presents. So we're just going to quickly kind of scroll through this so that you get an idea of options and then the controller layout too and then uh, actual graphics so you can just kind of adjust the brightness it's sort of a lock thing in that regard so now we're going to continue along with our quest I guess maybe try to kill that wolf so we can finish that quest off you see lots of other kind of players interacting here and they kind of just like appear as you're going through which is a bit weird 
I don't know, it, it does seem quite active in regards to players. And do keep in mind, obviously, that this is a beta state of the game. Um, but I think we're getting close to launch. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Haven't really been following this too closely, but I've kind of been like, hmm, you know, tentatively interested in what this has to offer. I do really like the, uh, the sort of quest style where it's like it tells you where you're going. It, it definitely seems open world, but also got like a bit of a, a linear style to it, so more like hub-like, if that makes sense. Kind of like uh, I go to Fable whenever I mention hub-like worlds. Obviously bigger, but kind of get the, the sense of what I'm getting at with that, um, just style-wise. And then you're completing quests, you're picking things up and interacting. It's, you know, kind of a standard thing in that regard, at least to start here. And then we collect extra bag stuff, so that's kind of nice. And it looks like we're going to have to go on a bit of an adventure. So now we're going to have to travel to this faraway land. Oh yeah, and I do like that there's some interactions in the world, if that makes sense. Um, the torch is like a weird example, but you can like uh, kind of gather resources and stuff, which is neat. And get into a bit of a sprint going on here. <gasps> oh no, what's going to happen? But yeah, as you can see, the animation like for cinematics just kind of like chugs along a bit. Seems like there's lots of little side activities that pop up too. But the world's actually got quite a bit of depth to it, I think visually. It's kind of good looking. You know, it's not the most breathtaking uh, thing I've seen, but it's not bad looking. Lots of different distinct characters doing their own thing. That's kind of cool. Defeat the Wolf King. Is there a Wolf King here? Wait, is everybody waiting for it to respawn, or did they just kind of like conquer it? Not too sure. Like, that poppin' is kind of like a little bit nasty. Just, you can see the, the plants and stuff in the background. I think that's just like a challenging thing though with these types of games is getting the world to render as you move through it and also dealing with the quantity of characters that are present. Is there a chest in the middle of that that we can collect that I'm just not seeing? I'm gonna run in here and take a look. Not oh, just on the map. Okay, let's keep rolling along. We've got places to visit and things to explore. So I want to show off you know, as much as possible, we'll give you just kind of a hint as to what to expect. So definitely uh, aiming like narrative driven sort of style to it. Lots of creatures. Ooh, should we kill the raccoon? Trash panda! Wasn't even a fair fight. But yeah, I guess we can also equip um, some of the items we got. Let's see. No, that's not it. Sorry, my button's a little sticky with the start. Get a little bit of a trainer's helmet on. And you can see how that affects like kind of your, your score and stuff. It's just like really sort of typical MMORPG, but a little bit different. Lots of people going on against one thing, I guess. Huh, that's kind of intense. Doing the, the bandit ambush. Hmm. It's an interesting setup. I'm surprised there's not more like enemy type thing right off the bat seems like that might be more sparsely spread out as it's more of a game that you're like sort of adventuring in an area and seeing things going on but yeah it's quite heavily populated I haven't really noticed any like server type issues if that makes sense and uh, it's mostly been like how it's running in that little chat symbol too or simple but like chat area on the left there was complete. There's Hello there, good guard. I uh, like you can speed up the text. It's kind of like I'd rather have like a, a press A to skip sort of thing, but you know, all to their own. I'm just trying to get through and showing off as much as possible. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get another kind of cinematic thing going on. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'd say compared to like similar games in the genre, just in terms of like. Uh, depth in the environment. It's kind of got it going on. I mean depth as in like little tiny items and stuff like that. It just feels like a little bit more filled out than you normally would see. Fend off angry civilians. So we're killing riding civilians. That's kind of dark. See we get like an actual combo going on here. Maybe I should have actually showed off the prologue too because you get to see some like 
higher level type things, and there's like a big battle situation going on. And you're just thrown into the middle of it, and you gotta fight these big monsters. It's kind of intense. You know, it's one of those classic, you know, jump into the middle of a big battle situation, and then you get starting from scratch. Yeah, it's just the, that's the gist of it. Yeah, we got these NPCs kind of chilling around doing their thing. Yes, I know how to use the hotbar. I mean, I've been using it for how long? Speak with Rodovico. Yeah, this is kind of really straightforward set so far, just in regards to where you're going. They do seem to have some neat little events to the side and stuff, so I appreciate that. Again, the pop-in, oh, man. I guess that's just something you gotta kinda deal with this gen when it comes to these uh, MMORPGs. I don't know if other people have been feeling that, but it seems to just be like the thing. Like I've played like Terra and Neverwinter. I think Neverwinter was actually pretty good for that, I remember. But then uh, like Black Desert. Yeah, at least the recent ones have been doing that. I think what other ones I've played, I've played a a number of the similar titles like this this generation on uh, not only Xbox but on PlayStation as well. Help with the angry thug. Nope, never mind. I guess they're a good angry thug now. Now I gotta go meet this guy. I just love seeing the group of people attacking things. It's always fun at the start of an MMORPG where it's just like there's so many other people doing their thing too. I think that's kind of really awesome. At least in my opinion, I think it's kind of cool. Security is really tight. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, sorry, I just keep accidentally chatting with him. Let's go and talk to this other thing. So, uh, other details. Uh, persistent world, I guess. Uh, stunning, expansive. Unreal Engine 4 based. Uh, Prior with friends to explore, discover a battle champ monsters. Uh, customized combos, unique blessings. More rewarding combat. It's pretty dangerous. <gasps> Defend yourself from massive dragons, giants, and fantastical creatures. I hope not fantastical beasts and where to find them, am I right? It's mature-minded, a violent world with a rich, complicated backstory and intricate plot. <laughs> Friend and foe, persistent world challenges players to survive a mangry of mythical beasts and each other. And what else does it say? Intricate PvP dangers at every turn. <gasps> oh no! Really, I gotta lift a box? Oh my god. Classic fantasy with a twist. And then talks about the classes, which we already kind of went over. I guess we've got to, like, sneak in here in order to do the party thing. Kind of weird to already be jumping to this. I guess it's also nice that it's more story based, but this also seems like medial kind of tasks. Oh, wow, she's got uh, quite the assets. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. And now, where shall we go? Guess we're gonna kinda conclude. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. Can we go back here? There we go. Kargzagor. Yeah, they actually got some varied environments in this one. I'll give them that one. Is this like a dress up place? <gasps> Outfit designer? Oh, that is so chic. I guess I don't have enough cool stuff in order to to do that kind of thing. That's interesting. Let's keep going. Oh, and I guess I should also mention, in case I didn't earlier, that this is a, a free-to-play title. That's kind of cool. Right? I mean, that's kind of the model for these ones. Except for Black Desert. we got to hand it to them. You know what they're doing with that one. Let's see where we should go. Stand here, a soul pirate to heal. Should I? I mean, well, I feel like 92% health. Might as well top off my life, I suppose, right? Just to give myself, my soul to the fire a bit more. <laughs> Hope that doesn't sound too weird on the mic. Like, we do the holy thing when we play Carcassonne as a family. You get, like, the, the church and stuff. But it's an expansion thing in that game. Anyways. Let's continue along here. Uh, interesting world. Oh, faceless thug. I will help you deal with this faceless thug. Oh, and there's like a lock-on mechanic and stuff like that, and then you can uh, evade 
So they give you some, like, it's kind of a neat combat system. You know, they seem to do a pretty good job of it. Every one of the MMORPGs handles the combat a, a little bit uh, uniquely in those, uh, when they try to present their style. We like the tactical rolling, though. Who are we talking to? Diego's invitation. Are we fending off the the thugs? Is that my goal here? I guess we can use one of these special abilities. What's And you can see like the the blessed element coming into play here. and the shield element as well. So this is like basic combat though. As mentioned, it, it gets a lot more complicated. You see that when you first jump in to try it out yourself. Uh, they give you like really a good tease of what's to come in terms of like combos and what you can create. Not too in depth there, but it's like, oh yeah, this is what to kind of expect. So it's kind of nice. So we're just kind of helping out with these thugs. Down you go. Yeah, definitely quested because it's got like the quest marker thing there. Connection has been lost. Alright, so we're back in the action after the lobby disconnect. And we're ready to continue this party. Wow, those are some pretty cool looking guard guys. Sup everyone. Just making my way through the society. Actually, if you think about it, I've done a lot. I was fighting in a mystical pit, and then I got like knocked out. I woke up in a house, fought some wolves, walked down the long path, moved to Red Harbor Town, quelled a riot, moved past the Harbor Town, snuck into a place, fought off some angry people attacking the guards, and now I'm meeting some high-quality prince-like people. <gasps> Looks like they're gonna go play some Dungeons and Dragons later. This guy must be powerful. He made the magical little thingy I move. Believe this necklace could be so easily destroyed. Well, you know. Perhaps it is no small coincidence you managed to survive the tragedy on Talarian. Was it a tragedy? I thought it was a prologue. Oh, now you want to talk to me? You couldn't just chat with me during the cutscene. You got to get a side thing in there. A relic of the old kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Have I played too many MMORPGs? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have a bad attitude? Probably. Glad we finished that quest. Let's go talk to Olvera at the plaza. Hooray. But it's good that they got the thing running up again very fast. You gotta understand, though, uh, with these tests, that they take servers down and they test things out all the time, so... And that's not out of the ordinary. And hopefully they continue to polish things, because it's always good to have more options for games on platforms, especially for people that enjoy, you know, these kind of MMORPGs, this genre. There hasn't been a lot of selection on consoles in the past, and this gen we're just finally starting to get more available to us, which is really nice. Wow, she's also got some interesting assets. Do you have like a husband? You should maybe like, I don't know. I don't know what the, the, no, the you know, the culture is like in this region, so I'm just gonna be quiet. Star seeds, their magic will heal you. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, let's get back to the action. Acquiring star seeds. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, and, and hopefully down the road I'll be able to like fully review the launch and you'll get like a late game kind of presentation of this one. Again, just like for these betas, I like to just show off a little bit of what it is, give you an idea about the games, kind of go over the concepts of what it aims to provide. And then when it fully releases, give like a full in-depth thing. But my Bandai Namco uh, send-offs have been so, so since they switched uh, kind of the PR handler on it. It's a little disappointing. Because I absolutely adore was it Hills of the Yeah, I absolutely love that game. Where'd all the creatures go? Oh, I guess we gotta speak with your bus. That is so lazy of a name. Your bus. 
Is it like your bus, but they're lazy? I feel like that's what it was. Now we gotta investigate magic chest. Oh! I thought it was like chest as in like a chest or something. What do we got here? Wow, these putrid kind of covered things. So, kind of doing typical MMORPG things. That's kind of cool. Opening chests, crates, uh, venturing around. Wow, really? He opened up the magic? That is a lot of gold and jewels and stuff. I can't believe that guy got in there first. Now I gotta wait to, like, re get a recharged chest. What is society these days, you know? All these other adventurers out there doing the exact same thing I'm doing. But they've got cool staff, so they think they're special. Now we're in a university. How do we get here so fast? It hasn't even been that long. Speak with the assistant, Elma. I like the little tiny folks. They're kind of cool looking. Like, it's neat that they play around with the character styles in this one. Who just leaves these books on the floor? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So it does seem like there's a bit of lore and stuff in this one. It's interesting. Uh, let me know your thoughts, too, on this one, because it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll play some more of it. I don't know. Uh, but that is kind of Bless Unleashed. Just uh, a little bit of a look at it, what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to listen to the full chat. I won't leave you hanging. I'll, I'll let you finish off what this is, even though I doubt anyone's reading that fast enough.